In this video we will create a Twitter post analytics app with Retool. The final app will get the last 10 tweets with the full post details and the analytics for each post. The first step is to create an Airshare account and log into the dashboard. In the dashboard we connect our social accounts and get our API key. We will save this API key for the next step when we configure the API call. In Retool, we created a new app. Let's create a new query which is a REST API. We will call it Airshare Analytics and we'll use the base URL for the Airshare history endpoint. Let's add two headers, one which is the API key for the authorization and the other is the content type. Remember to add the word bearer and a space before the API key. This API endpoint works for any of the 10 social networks that Airshare supports. In this app, we are focused on Twitter, so we will add the word Twitter to the end of the URL. That's all we need to get this API working. Let's run it. Airshare returns a JSON which includes an array of posts. Each of the posts has the URL, post body, analytics, and more. Now we can lay out the components to display the data points that we need. Let's add a list view which is the container for the post data. We can add the app title as a header. We can also add a button to refresh the app whenever we want to get new data. The button will trigger the query we just created. In the list view we set the number of items to the length of the array of posts that the API call returns. Then let's add a text field to display the post body. That field is called post in the JSON. Let's style this field so it stands out visually. Let's now add another text field to display the post date and time of creation. That field is called created. We need to use the built-in moment JavaScript package to format the date so it is easier to read. Next, we can add a button which will link the post URL in a new browser window. That field is called post URL. We will also add a divider to visually separate the posts in the list view. Let's quickly preview the app to ensure that this button is working properly. Great! We can see that the button takes us to the correct live post on Twitter.com. The final component we will add is a key value table to show the analytics data. The JSON response has multiple sets of metrics. For this app, we will use the field Organic Metrics. We can see that the analytics data has been populated in the table. We can see the count of likes, impressions, retweets, and more. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember to check out Airshare.com to see all the other great social media capabilities you can add to your app including posting, scheduling, sending videos, and much more.